Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my own nails. I'm actually going to be working on my non-dominant hand today, so this could be a long one. Well, it's going to be a long one for me, but not for you, because obviously I will cut it down. But I'm actually going to do a natural overlay, I think, but I'm going to do it using dual forms, just because it cuts out all the shaping and filing afterwards. So. This is what we're starting with. I'm not going to worry too much about the shape. I know I probably should have already filed the shape in. But I'm going to do that afterwards. I think I'm going to go for an oval. Um, I don't want to go too pointy. And I'm not going to go coughing again. I think I'm going to go for like an, like an almondy type oval shape. We'll see how I feel once I've got them on. But I'm going to go for this kind of length. So it's going to be a, I guess, a natural, an acrylic overlay on natural nails using dual forms. This is going to be a Christmassy set. And the two acrylics I'm going to use are these two, Mia Secret. These are from the Carnival collection. We've got Rio and Cancun. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. I think it's on autofocus. There we go, that's better if it's down there. So yeah, it's like a greeny colour and then a red and gold colour. So that's what I'm going to do. And yes, I have dehydrated and primed twice and the first thing I'm going to do is go in and do a clear base just a really really thin clear base on my nails because I might even try and get away with not having to soak them off next time we'll see I haven't done an overlay for a long time like just an overlay so we'll see how it goes so I'm just going to go in with a clear acrylic and do a really thin base. This is going to be hard on this hand. <laughs> it's got some flipping glitter in it. What's that about? There is, uh, there is still a little bit of acrylic towards the tip of my nail, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I want to make sure that I can keep it nice and thin so that when I go in, obviously with the geoforms, I'm not going really thick. Thumbs do still have quite a bit on them from before, so I'm hoping that that's not going to be a problem. Right, let's go in with the dual forms. Well, I've already sized these up. I need to get some more dual forms. So, I need to go in with a little bit of clear first, and then the colours. So we're kind of doing, we're kind of going backwards now. So thin layer of clear. It is quite hard working with glares. So I've got my clear in and then I'm gonna go in with my color. I'm gonna use the ready gold and just hope that I've done this the right length. <laughs> I have to go back in at the cuticle with some glare, but it's made it to the tip, which is good. <laughs> so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna go over it in a, in a little bit of glitter first, and then I'm gonna go in 
and like builds, if that makes sense. So we're gonna use the green for this one. I think I have gotten more used to working with this hand. This one doesn't seem as opaque as the other one did. To be honest, I could probably get away with just capping with the dual form. Hmm. This one's definitely not as opaque, is it? Why does it look so dark? That's quite thick, but it's not even opaque enough for me. I'm gonna put a thin layer of clear in. And then I'm gonna try and get it really opaque. I've got a feeling that this is going to be a disaster, you guys. Uh, <laughs> so annoying. So that was actually easier just doing it like that. I'm going to see what the dual form one looks like and then I might end up capping in dual form but let's go on to the next nail which is just going to be the same as that one. Right, let's take this off. I think just because it just gets such a good shape when you use the dual forms and it stops you from having to do as much filing, I think I am going to cap in dual form the other nails. But when it comes to like using glitters and that, it's very difficult with dual forms because like you can see Hopefully, if it focuses. It like pushes it away. It pushes it about and you don't get the right sort of coverage. But we've got the coverage already and then we're just gonna cap. So all I'm gonna put in here now is just clear. And I'm not gonna worry too much about the cuticle area because I can always go back in and just do a really little bit on the cuticle area if I need to. So I don't want to go too thick with this bit here, as long as it's long enough, which I think it should be. Oh, I'm sorry that it's not in focus, you guys. And then just really slowly push it down. not covered it perfectly but that'll be all right so while that's on there I'm gonna move on to the thumb and the thumb's gonna be another green I just wish the green was a bit more opaque oh but as you can see it's got a lot of um, clear to it
It's so hard with his hand. So I'm trying to like pad it to get it in the right shape. But then it's making like it too clear on some parts of it. So it really is difficult to work with glaze. And it's still not totally see-through, like you can see through it, but obviously if it was if my nails were clear underneath, they'd be okay, but they're not because they're natural nails. But never mind, right, let's take this one off and see what the damage is for this one. The green ones are going to be the ones, I think, that have the um, pictures on. So hopefully that will help. But because this wasn't even dry, like it, on this one here, I don't know if you can see, but it has pushed it away from the cuticle. We'll see what it looks like when it comes off, but I'm going to let them dry before I go in and cap. While they're drying, I might as well work on these other nails and get my file out, Anna. So I have filed them a little bit. Come on. I filed them a little bit. Um, they're not totally ready, but I'm gonna go on and cap the other two nails out because I think they've dried enough that they shouldn't move when I go in with the clear. So that is what we've ended up with so far. That's what we've ended up with. And I'm now gonna go in with some decals. So I'm gonna top coat with um, my Mia Secret top coat that's got a slight sticky layer in it. And then I'm gonna put some decals on. So this is the top coat that I'm using. And these are the decals that I've decided to go for. They are by Queen of Decals. And I've chosen a bow and this little guy here because I thought it was quite cute so we're gonna go with that so I'm only doing the green and um, the ring finger and the thumb because they're the ones that are gonna have the decals on but I see if it would focus like I spent all this money on getting this new phone so that it would have like really good camera on it and that but it's like, it can't even focus. My old one was freaking better than this. What the heck? Right, that should do. I'm gonna flash cure. And I'm gonna pop my little bow on here. I think it'll be about there. It's gonna take a bit of acetone on a brush. Just try and melt away like that end line bit. I'm gonna put my little cat guy. He's well cute. Just there. Oh, he's cute. He's so cute. And then I'm just going to melt that those lines away and make sure it's all stuck down. And then I'm going to go in with a no wipe top coat. I'm using my Kiara Sky no wipe top coat. Top coat all of the nails.
And this is the finished result, you guys. What do you think? How cute are these decals? Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Oh, look how cute he is. These are by Queen of Decals and you can get them on nailtechnetwork.co.uk's website. I'll have the links down below. I love that bow as well. That's a really cute Christmassy bow. I really don't know why this, this phone is not focusing. Oh, I'm going to keep playing and we'll see what happens, but yeah. So this is the end result, you guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you think about me having just my natural nails underneath. That is literally my natural nail with just an acrylic overlay over the top. And I'm going to see how much I can get them to grow and maybe just keep infilling. Uh, maybe just keep having like overlays done. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out to see what I do on my other hand. It is going to be another Christmas design, but it's going to be different to this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you loads. Bye.